Welcome to Short Corners, where we give you some quick thoughts on some of soccer's biggest topics of the week. I'm your host, Amobi Kugo. Back again with my guy, L. L, real quick, how you feeling today? Yo, tired, man. Like, it's been a crazy <laughs> week. Uh, been running around, as you guys may have seen. Um, just launched the Town FC. Um, so stay tuned for that. More stuff coming when it comes to that. So been a busy week trying to get all that stuff together. Um, but Monday is the day officially. Um, we officially launched the brand. Um, not the not the crest, but like the brand itself. So definitely stay tuned for that. Yeah, definitely. Whatever you got to do, turn your post notifications on. Uh, got some things in the works with the town. Uh, L is, you know, the facilitator behind that. So make sure you guys look forward to what we got, what we got pushing. But let's get into short corners. All right. So, you know, Champions League semifinals week. Um, well, narrowing down to the semifinals. So we'll do a little recap of the game, especially today. It's been a shocker of a couple of games. Yeah. Um, so we'll start with Europa League. Um, first things first. Barca, cra- Barca crashes out of the Europa League. Um, they go down 3-4 on aggregate to uh, Eintracht Frankfurt. Yeah. Um, and actually, Barca had a late push to kind of make it look respectable, but it's getting that ass whooped. So how you feeling about that match? Uh, to be honest, I'm not... I don't want to say I'm not surprised because Barca has been on a good run of form uh, ever since Javi came into uh, the staff and you know, the dressing room. But... Frankfurt, you know, they got, they got a squad and, you know, the way they play um, doesn't uh, bode well for the style that Barcelona has. So it was a good matchup. It kind of reminded me of when um, Barca used to get smacked around sometimes um, through those teams that play just a different way, different style. Um, but they did make a late push, made it respectable. But I think from everyone watching, they knew Frankfurt Frankfurt really came out to play and kind of punched them in the mouth. I want to take a little bit of blame for this, you know, as soon as I start to support <laughs> Barca, like, because, you know, <laughs> I mean, there's really only two teams that, like, I'm, like, emotionally invested in. That's yeah. Arsenal and Atlanta United, and then, you know, the town FC eventually. But, you know, I've, I've been trying to, like, pick teams in various other leagues to kind of just follow and support. As soon as I pick Barca, here we Things go with this, going. you know what I'm saying? It's like m- more of the same, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. Yeah, that's just how it happens. This is how it happens. So being a Barca fan now, uh, like whose jersey are you going to get? Just Alba, probably. That's my. Okay. That's been my guy since like uh, Dortmund. So yeah. I've been following Obama Yang since Dortmund. Um, and then when he came to Arsenal, it was... Yeah. And so now that he's, you know, over at Barca, I'll probably get a, a, a Alba, Alba jersey first and then um, Ansu Fati. Yeah, my countryman, your, your, your people's out there. Right? My countryman, yep. I gotta Where's get he a, been gotta at? Get an Where's he been? Injured. He gotta, he gotta get healthy. He's too young to be having these injury problems. Yeah. So, yeah, but I mean, Barca looking like they trying to put together a little squad. I can, and you know, eventually they'll bounce back. So it's like yeah. there will be some glory at some point down the road. But at least I jumped on the bandwagon while they was down and not while they was up. So. Yeah. That's true. That's true. And like they've done a good job to restructure their team. And it, you know, I think this summer transfer window is going to be very interesting to see how they continue to add to the squad. Um, but then bowing out of Champions League and then Europa League, it, it's not it's not good. But I think it it's a it's a wake up call for the upper management, not Javi, because he's uh, obviously new, but the upper management to like get their stuff together and uh you want to stay stay on top that's what you're gonna to have to do yeah, speaking of javi that's another reason i picked barca because he's from that pep tree uh-huh. you know so is arteta i'm saying similar playing styles or similar philosophies yeah so kind of stuck with that i like that style of play so I do like you consider do you consider javi or Xavi, however everyone pronounces it as part of the pep tree i think so i mean i haven't had time to like really really study his methods but uh-huh. It's my assumption that that's Just playing under him. That his play style is similar. Like he was there when Pep was there. Yeah. You know, he played under Pep. Like that's kinda During when they had those years. dominant years. Yeah. Like he was he was, you know, one of the um the cogs in that wheel. So I figured he would at least pick up some of those things. Yeah. And, you know, apply some of that and like bring him bring that old Barca back. I feel like that's part of the reason why they brought him brought him yeah. in. Like 
bring restore the feeling essentially so yeah. i'm looking forward to that yeah most definitely uh, that'll be a great uh yeah dissection if we can get to that further down the road yeah for sure oh another shocker um i don't know if we want to call it a shocker or not but west ham knocks off leon 4-1 on aggregate you know the boys from east london handling nah, business nah, yeah, that's, not a, that's not a shocker <laughs> for me obviously they okay. own a, a story uh club and they you know they do well in european competitions but west ham this year you know they were you know early on in the year they're like had a, a stronghold on a champions league spot they got some top players obviously declan rice uh is a player that you know is, is really good but i feel like he gets hella overrated at the same time like you're a really good player but you get overrated at the same time um, but they got, they got some pieces to their squad, and uh, it's good to see them make this make this uh, Europa League Europa, Europa League run. Right. So let's get into final four. So the semifinals um, with the games wrapping up today, we have Frankfurt versus West Ham, and then we also have um, RB Leipzig versus at this point Rangers, because Braga just had a second man sent off in extra time. Rangers is up. In, on aggregate so yeah. looking like it's rangers leipzig um so who do we got coming out of the semis and then who you got lifting the trophy ah oh, that's a good question uh i think it's gonna be all german final frankfurt mm. versus leipzig uh it would be interesting and kind of funny to see leipzig win after what they did to jesse marsh so i'm gonna go frankfurt just because uh just bias just bias i don't want them you know to have too much success after firing jesse but um yeah, I think it's going to be all German FA Cup final. Oh, sorry, not FA Cup, Europa League final. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to say I'm going to root for West Ham on this one. Okay. I'm going to say West Ham, Leipzig. Mm -hmm. I, but I think Leipzig edges it out, though. Yeah. Just off of, just off of like, strong philosophy or whatever. But I, I, mean, I haven't watched them enough to, like, to know whether yeah. or not, you know, they're a strong team this year. Um, I know there's a reason why they let go of Jesse Marsh. They were slugging a little bit, but eh. nah, scratch that. I'm going to go Premier League, okay. list the trophy again for a second year straight. Wait, who won last so. year? It was uh, it was uh, Villarreal won last year, right? Yeah, they beat Man U. Okay. All right, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to go Premier League again. <laughs> West Ham. I said okay. West Ham takes, takes it. I should, I should give more credit to Rangers if they pull through versus Braga, but uh, Rangers got a couple Nigerians on the squad, so. Uh, hope they do well. Hope they show out. Tap it your people. Be, it's going to be an all German final. All right. All right. So let's jump over to Champions League. Um, so we had a couple of games yesterday. The biggest one of those being City Atleti. You know, yeah. that game ended with a lot of shithousery and and some, some beef in the tunnel, if you yeah. if you will. Cheers off on that one. Oh, well, first and foremost, I like how both coaches didn't snitch. Like when they had, there was a uh, thing going on Instagram, like talking about the fight. Uh, reporter asked Pep about it. He had no comment. Uh, reporter asked Diego Simeone. He completely answered a whole different question. So I thought that was funny. Uh, it was an intense matchup. Um, that's what. That's why we watch Champions Leagues for like battles like that. You know, it's, everything's on the line. They play each game like it's their last. Obviously, money's on the line, but pride and, you know, glory is on the line, too. And, you know, whenever you're going to be playing Atletico Madrid, you know it's going to be a war. And then just Man City just, you know, obviously they play a gracious type of football, but for them to get down and dirty when it's necessary is good to see, too. So, yeah, I'm all for that stuff. I think we need to see more of that in soccer because it gets more people involved. Yeah, for sure. I didn't actually catch the game. I just saw, like... Um, stuff on social media yeah. and stuff like that. But, <laughs> it was a little reckless. But, you know, given it's, it's a Simeone team, like yeah. he always has an edge to him, <laughs> and his team reflects his personality. Uh -huh. So it makes sense that it would kind of end that way. But definitely, um, that was definitely a strong matchup, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So jumping into the final four, we got City versus Real Madrid, and then we got Liverpool versus Villarreal. So I want to touch on Villarreal a little bit. You know, uh -huh. if Unai Emery, we trust you know I'm saying, like, y'all didn't trust him at Arsenal. <laughs> hey, I, I agree with that. We didn't get a man enough time. So uh -huh. if there's like a language barrier, there's a, there's a whole bunch of excuses, right? But yeah, I feel like if he would have if he would have a little bit little bit more time, you know, he probably would have been able the to do something. The man could coach his ass off. We got to the Europa League final, but we got our ass whooped by by Chelsea that year, I yeah. believe. 
Um, but the man, the man shows up in these uh, these European competitions. So you know, one coach. one Europa League last year in the semifinals this year, take a small team like Villarreal to the to the mountaintop. Um, definitely rooting for him on the low. Uh, but who you got for the semis, and then who you got lifting the trophy? So that's crazy. Well, congrats to you know Eni Emery. Like he's he's like been a great coach. You know, especially in Europe, your the European competition. Uh, Vegas, the Vegas better me is going to be City Liverpool just for antics. Uh, mm-hmm. City Liverpool is like the new like Barca Madrid rivalry, where it's Pep versus Mourinho all those years. Now it's mm-hmm. Klopp versus uh, uh, Pep. As the two best teams in the world right now, but Madrid, I mean, R- Madrid Champions League, uh, real Champions League Madrid, like they find a way. Benzema's like on top form right now. Ballon d'Or Benzema. Yeah, like people are saying, I hope he wins this so we can see like the promo videos that he's gonna so do. See the drip video, the drip video gonna be epic. Uh, that I feel like that matchup is the final. Like winner of Madrid the City will be the mm. uh, winner. Um, but it's it's hard to say Villarreal has a chance versus Liverpool. Um, but I, I, I just think it's going to be City Liverpool, even though I think I want Madrid to, you know, win because of how they played Chelsea. Thought it was a great matchup. I think it's going to be City Liverpool. Yeah, man, I'm I'm rooting for the Giant Killers. You know, Villarreal had to knock off two Giants to get here, so. Yeah. You know, hopefully they can carry that momentum into a potential final, but I don't see them getting over clock yeah. in Liverpool. They're just too strong. They got too much depth. It's yeah, I agree with you. I'm gonna say I go City Liverpool as well. I think um I think Pep obviously has the chops to get there. Yeah. Will he get over the hump though and finally lift a trophy? Lift the Champions League like, trophy. If he loses City. back to back yeah, if he uh That'd be crazy. Did you pick a winner? Did you pick an overall winner? I picked, uh, yeah, I think City finally does it. Yeah, I think City finally okay. does it. I, I'll go with City, too. I'll stick to the pep tree, yeah. you know. Because you know, Arteta, Liverpool, Liverpool, Javi. Yeah. Liverpool is going to be in three finals, three Champions League finals in the past five years or four years? I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah, five years, three finals. Uh well, let's not let's not write off Villarreal, but I, I'm I'm assuming it's going to be a City Liverpool final. I think just for optics, a Madrid Liverpool final is not bad as well. Like, ooh, you know, just the hist- history behind it. Yeah, are these semifinal games one leg or are they two legs? Uh, two legs. Okay. Two legs, no away goal. So, um, yeah. it should be interesting to see how, and it's going to be interesting to see how the EPL teams match up because I mean Liverpool and Man City play again. And they're in a tight race for the for the, for the title for the EPL title. So yeah. um, rotation, um, squad rotation. You know how how is that going to play a role into what's going on? So yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for real. For... Yeah. I don't know. Man. I kind of like that one leg uh, knockout round that they did during the quarantine era. Uh huh. Like I, I like that version. It made the games more exciting. Yeah, but home. then where, where are they going to play? It's like, it's on neutral ground or? Yeah. I mean, that would be cool making the event out of it, right? Yeah. Well, that's what the PSG owner wants. He wants to make Champions League a whole spectacle. Um, so you have, do it like um, like the, the bowl system here in America. Yeah. So like the top four teams play at neutral site, four neutral sites. Mm-hmm. So like for the semis. And then, you know, the final will be at a neutral site. That's a good show. I mean, you already do the final at a neutral site, so might as well just make the semis. Yeah. But one leg for the semis? Ah, that's tough. <laughs> hey, oh. the chaos was at all time, all yeah. time levels. That's true. Yeah. It definitely changes. Like, uh, like the no away goal rule is 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 good too. Like, even though as a Chelsea fan, uh, yesterday or not yesterday, two days ago, or at the time of this recording. Um, last Tuesday <laughs> uh, <laughs> that game like with the away goal roll, you're like all right now you got to push or all you need is one goal in the extra time it definitely changed the 
the flow of the game, but I felt like it was for the better, even as a even as a Chelsea fan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with no way goes the games are definitely more exciting. So yeah, it still adds to it. But you know, that's still one that one game knockout was. <laughs> I really yeah. like that one. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, but that's it for short corners this week. What you got? Yeah, that's it. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Obviously, you know, L got a big announcement on Monday. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Uh, a lot of cool things in the works. Uh, summer is soon approaching. Uh, but that's our show for this week. Subscribe, rate, and review. It helps us get discovered. Follow us on the socials at Two Cents SC. Uh, check out our merch at Two Cents Sports.shop. And tweet us your comments on the show and any topics you want me or L to discuss. Uh, that is it. Short corners. You guys enjoy. Yeah.